Folks, thanks for tuning in once again. We're back again. Steve is here. Got another McFarlane Toys digital figure to check out because this is not so much DC Multiverse as it is uh, just, you know, McFarlane digital toys and um, DC Direct. So there you go, man. You know, him offering the, uh, what, what was the thing? Because I mentioned it in the video before this, the little, the stupid digital art things we used to... What were they called again? I have to look that up. I hate Yeah, it. folks, that's it. Stupid NFTs. Gotta remember NFTs, because I wasn't into them, so that's why it's easily forgettable, because it's just one of those like little fads like the pet rock. But I uh, know, but he you know, he got in on NFTs too, and I guess we get to build like an NFT type um figure with this uh with this particular line. Anyways, but yeah, it's DC Direct, McFarlane Toys. Anyways. And uh, yeah, we got Aquaman. One of my favorite characters from back in the day, especially with superpowers, because that was the first figure I had that where I had a physical, you know, action figure of said Aquaman. And watching that vintage cartoon, we used to rent it on the VHS, um, and you know, he was riding on that little uh, seahorse guy or whatever. And I taught myself how to swim watching that cartoon because I was like afraid of the water a lot when I was a little kid, and like going to the pool, like hanging out with my friends at the pool and stuff like that, and going doing all that, you know, in the community. And, uh, I just basically, I don't know, I'm one of those guys where if I get frustrated and I'm afraid of something, I try to conquer my fears. Roller coasters, I've yet to conquer that fear. I'm still just not a big fan of roller coasters. Let me know in the comments if you are. Anyways, and, um, certain rides and stuff, it's just like, oh, it makes some stomach turn. But anyways, I need, I need to get some balls, though, and get on a roller coaster, because I'm sure maybe one day my grandson might want to get on a roller coaster, and I might have to join him. Anyways... I need to shut up when you get in this figure. But yeah, Aquaman's rad. I taught myself how to swim and watch the cartoons. It's a big deal to me. Maybe not to you, but it is to me. But anyways, uh, here's Aquaman. And he comes with this little dude. I don't think it's Aqualad. Is it Garth? Is it... I don't know. He's a little... I want to call him Fish Stick. Because he's, he's like, he looks like a little stick boy. And he's a fish... You know, like, like fish sticks, man. I call him Fish Sticks. But I'm sure that's not his name. Anyways, uh, but yeah. Aqu Aquaman, DC Classics. And yeah, or DC Classic, not Classics. But uh, there you go, man. Freaking awesome. Let's see, McFarlane Toys Digital once again. Yeah, they don't. It's just it just says that in a bunch of different languages and some other languages. Not a toy. Let's see, fourteen plus, and uh, yeah, awesome art on the back. Him sitting on his uh, throne made of seashells and crab legs and stuff and Cthulhu type things, and uh, with the big octopus arm in the back. Man, makes you want some seafood or some squid. Looking very stoic and badass. Anyways, uh, step into the... And there's a QR code. Uh, World of McFarlane Toys Digital. Collect all your favorite figures that include uh, this logo. And use the enclosed code to redeem your exclusive digital collectible. I think it's Mongol. I think that's who you collect. But now we're going to get this guy open. Check we got out, our man. figure out and stuff. And before we even get into this figure... The I'm Aquaman, classic vintage Aquaman, always has a goofy smile. Oh, we rip you know. into this figure, because I know people people get up in arms, man. Everybody's got a... It's good to have an opinion. Every You're entitled to your opinion. Opinions are like elbows and assholes. Everybody has them. So, there you go. But uh, anyways, because he's got the goofy head sculpt, and I saw this, and I was like, oh, man, it's pretty goofy. But then, I, you know, I always do my due diligence and research things, you know, because I don't know everything. I'm 48 years old. I've been a fan of Marvel and DC and... Star Wars and all kinds of crap and Masters of the Universe, Transformers, G.I. Joe for years, but I don't know every gosh darn thing. And uh, yeah, man, I looked it up and I was like, man, that's kind of goofy. But the hair sculpt is actually pretty decent once you get it out and look at it, because sometimes you just got to open up figures and look at them. And yeah, it's kind of goofy. He almost looks like um, Gary Busey a little bit, but, uh, but it's not bad. I like the hair sculpt. It, it is like, what's well, cool about it, it looks like blonde hair in the water. So that's actually pretty freaking dope and pretty freaking cool. And yeah, he's got a goofy smile. But sometimes Aquaman, Arthur Curry's got a goofy smile sometimes, man. And then here's the figure himself where he's got more of a stoic look. I love the trident. Trident's pretty badass. I imagine this is the same trident we've gotten with some of the other figures that we've had. But um, other than that, man, I love his scales. He's got the orange, you know suit or upper body like suit or whatever or shirt or whatever long sleeve with um actually gold wash on his scales which is badass makes it pop a lot got the plain green tights and gloves and stuff so that's standard that's standard issue so there you go classic aquaman air on there on his belt and yeah and then we got little fish sticks man which is pretty hilarious let's get this guy to stand he was kind of having issues earlier but yeah we'll get him to stand 
Oop, there you go. Come on, Arthur. And, uh, and here's little fish sticks. This guy's crazy. I don't know anything about fish sticks, man. But yeah, he's crazy. And I think oh, he also comes with uh, holes for pegs for stands. So you can stand them up. Or I think if two, if you have problems with yours, you can heat him up with uh, like a blow dryer or whatever. Or hot water and probably bend his feet or legs to go whichever way you want. And his arms do go out. So yeah, there you go. But his legs don't have any articulation. So they can go, his arms can go around. Oop. They actually peg out, so there you go. Not a big deal, not a big freaking deal. And his head can turn a little bit. So there you go, can swivel all around, so that's cool, little fish sticks, man. We're gonna figure it out, because I don't know who the hell he is. <laughs> Gotta be honest, man. I'm always gonna be honest. Don't know who the hell he is. And then he comes with swimming hands, which is rad. So there you go. So that's freaking cool. And then we come with our digital card with our item number and the code, which you gotta scratch off like a lotto ticket, which is kind of cool and fun, because everybody likes playing the lotto to get our our figure. And let's see, Aquaman, real name, Orin Arthur Curry. A founding member of the Justice League of America, despite being misunderstood by many as someone who merely talks to fish. That's funny. Uh, Aquaman, I'm hungry. Anyways, Aquaman's super strength and fighting prowess alone make him a force to be reckoned with his telepathic abilities make him one of the most powerful minds of on the planet if one chooses to underestimate the sea king they do so at their own peril and that still doesn't tell us who fish sticks is man oh man do i have to i don't have time to watch all the vintage cartoons to figure out who little fish sticks is is it garth it's not um aqua baby is it? I don't know. Who is it? Who is he? If you know in the comments, let me know, man, because I'm not, I ain't too proud to beg, man. Let me know. Let me know. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's look at our Aquaman again. He's a pretty cool figure. I like the stoic face. Once again, I like the way the hair looks. It's a really good sculpt. It looks like blonde hair flowing in water, which is cool. And there you go, man. But let's get one of our other Aquaman to just kind of do comparisons because you got to kind of do that. Alrighty, y'all, and here's one of my other Aquaman. And, uh, one of the more modern Aquaman, not the one where he gets his you know, arm cut off and he's got the hook hand and whatever, this and that. But it's the same trident. Uh, this one's a little bit more gummier. And I bought this one when I first moved here. So there you go. It's pretty much the same figure. Yeah, it's the same damn figure, just different head sculpt and different paint apps, different colors on the legs and different colors on the trident and different head sculpts. So there you go. Let's look a little closer at the head sculpts. He's got side eyes. Stoic straightaway face, but still pretty decent, man. They're still they're still loved, man. I still love my collection, man. I'm not one of those guys that like, I don't know, dude. I don't get paid to collect these, man. I don't. I'm not a sp affiliate or sponsored or anything like that. I just collect because I like to do it because it's a good distraction from all the lame, shitty BS of life that is. It it just is. It just is, man. It's my hobby. It's my passion. Some people like to go out and get messed up. Some people like to shoot things. Some people like to, I don't know, be assholes. I just like to collect some, some man dolls and have some fig, you know, fun with action figures. Anyways, um, let's get this guy posed up and be done. Alrighty, folks, and here's good old Aquaman. I have him posed up. I don't, I'm not going to bust out a flight stand because I'm just, i just not going to do it. Um, but if you have a flight stand, you can pose on a flight stand. But here he is swimming with the smiley face, goofy smiley face going. And he looks badass, dude. So if you got a flight stand... And you got a cool, like, blue or, like, aquatic background. This is, I don't know, this is a tight figure. Because at first I was kind of like, eh, he's a little goofy, man, you know, with this face. But I actually like it, man. I actually like it now upon opening it up. Because sometimes for me, it's all about opening it up and getting him displayed to, you know, proper. To get the gist of the figure and how cool he is, man. So there he is swimming. I don't think people usually swim like that, but my Aquaman does. So there you go, man. There you freaking go. I like him, man. He's rad. He's freaking rad. He's freaking rad. But the unfortunate thing is you can't have fish sticks ride piggyback, like, safely. Yeah, because, I mean, I guess he can, but yeah, there you go. And they're underwater adventures. <laughs>
Well, that's it for our review. Um, I like this figure. I don't know about you. I'm sure some people are kind of up in arms. They, they might not like the, the goofy smiley face. They might not like that. Um, they, I don't know. They, I don't know. I don't know. But I like it. I think it's cool. I, I think it's hilarious. I think it's awesome. I think it's a good figure. And I, it also it comes with the just regular stoic resting bitch face. So there you go, too. So you can have the best of both worlds. You can have that classic, you know goofy looking aquaman and then you can have like your you know whatever i'm pissed off mad at the world aquaman too so that's that's kind of cool. or matter at the um people above sea level you know aquaman anyways um yeah that's it for our review once again let me know in the comments if you know who fish sticks is because i don't know who he is anyways um once again thanks for watching y'all and yeah um it's almost about to be summertime i think here in texas you're safe to go swimming I can do it because I take cold showers every day and it doesn't bother me. If it's like 80 degrees or 80 something degrees here, it's the water. I go dip in the water. It's not going to freak me out because I take cold showers every day. Like, you know, so anyway, winter, fall, spring, summer, doesn't matter. I take cold showers every day. Anyways, except when I get home and take a warm shower. But anyways, you don't care about that. Anyways, I'm done with this review. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in once again, if you did. And uh, if I don't know. Whatever. Uh, yeah, y'all have a good one. All right, later.